A CH-47 crew from the California Army National Guard's Company B, 1st Battalion, 126th Aviation Regiment out of Stockton, California, provided United States Marines airlift to a remote training site at the Marine Corps Mountain Warfare Training Center located near Pickle Meadows, California. We got a, uh, an AMR, an air mission request from the Marine Corps to support their uh, Mountain Warfare Training Center. Uh, they needed help doing Accio huddles and tactical insertions, that sort of thing. Part of the, the Mountain Warfare Training Center's mission, right, is to teach the Marines or whoever, it's, it's not unique to them, um, how to fight in a mountainous, snowy environment. So once we did our brief, the Marines practiced cold loading, so that is loading with the engines off, um, with all of their equipment, their skis, their sleds, all of their cold weather gear, um, all of their stuff. Packed them all into the aircraft, and then all of them got off of the aircraft um, as quickly as possible, just kind of get that muscle memory. And once they were cold load complete, they felt like they had a handle on that. Then we started the helicopter up, they hot loaded. Um, we lifted the first group up to an LZ that was at about 9,000 feet uh, above sea level, so um, lifting, it was about 4,800 pounds uh, worth of people and stuff um, up to the LZ. We did the insertion in the snow. They jumped off and went into what's called the Akio huddle. Um, so they put all their gear in the middle and all the guys uh, and gals jumped on top of the gear um, to hold it down and to protect themselves from the rotor wash. Uh, they did all this about 15 feet from the aircraft, so they were still underneath the rotor disc. Um, that we took off, blasted them with the rotor wash, and then went and got the next group. Um, and then did the same thing with the next group. The first group set up in, in Akio huddles like they had been. Um, we landed right next to them, again with them under the rotor disc. Uh, then the first group got off. Second group got back on so that they could practice another iteration um, in the traffic pattern there, another tactical insertion, more Akio huddles. Um, and we just continued that cycle for three groups. So each one of the three groups got a tactical insertion, an Akio huddle as we departed, and an Akio huddle as we landed, um, and a, a traffic pattern in the middle. The air crew also gained valuable experience that applies to one of their critical state missions, search and rescue. There's, there's a couple of things that you have to consider landing in snow, um, particularly when you're landing in snow with a group of 20 people underneath your rotor disc, right? So we have to come in to a specific location. I think by the last time we landed there, you could see all the wheel marks and we hadn't moved more than four feet from the first point that we landed at. We were all, we were within a four foot circle every single time. Um, and that was really based on where the Akio huddles were. Um, plus it's good to get the uh, practice landing in deep snow. One of our core missions here is search and rescue above 10,000 feet. None of the smaller helicopters can really get up there. Um, at that altitude, we're likely going to run into hard snowpack, um, different types of LZs that we're not used to training down here in the valley. So it, it gives us that skill set to go up high, have the reduced performance, have the snow to deal with, potentially have whiteout conditions into an LZ we've never seen before, working with people we don't typically work with. Um, and all of that experience is going to help us um, when it comes time to pull somebody off of one of the mountains in Northern California. So getting all of that experience in now when no one's life is on the line would definitely help us um, when somebody is depending on us to survive.